So let's see the first use case of these fantastic rules on Sysmon. Uh, so we have the bad guy who created a, a, an artifact called mylove.exe is hosted on an Apache web server. So when anyone clicks, you can also execute, but uh, on, a, on a malicious link, PowerShell, which is something designed to get users more powerful, actually makes the, the malware very powerful. So the first thing that this PowerShell is going to do is it's going to download that mylob.exe program automatically. Then also it's going to place it in a temp, or in a temp uh, directory. And you guessed it right. Then it's going to start that process. Okay, and that's going to open a back door. So, and, and, and again, I show that in a separate uh, video for Kali, which allows total control of this Windows machine uh, from the actual attacker. Now, because we have Curator in the mix, and as I show in separate videos on this series, we install WinCollect, it can be agent or agentless, on the Windows 7 machine, and we added the super capabilities of Sysmon, we are going to be getting detailed logs that are going to reveal these activities. And we have some rules that are going to be detecting these type of uh, bad things. Three of them in particular. Process is started from the temporary directory. That's normally not a good thing. That an unsigned executable, all DLL, is actually being run. And I, by the way, we in, in more in later videos we will show how we can actually check whether the signature is actually from Microsoft, if it's, if it's a Microsoft process. Uh, so we would detect uh, when bad guys inject uh, code into m things that make it look like Microsoft. Uh, because the reality is that today, m lots of malware, it's very easy for the bad guys to, to buy a certificate uh, and, and sign uh, their, their bad code. So, But uh, nevertheless, if somebody's using unsigned, we will detect it. But again, later we will show how you can check for wh who's the signer. If it's not Microsoft and it's a, an, 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 an SVC host uh, type of process, then uh, an, an offense fire. And we will have a rule that detects the PowerShell with, with uses, you know, things like downloading and starting process, which is actually pretty suspicious. So let's see that in, in the demo. So here we have curator, no offenses, and in the uh, log activity we have a filter to look only for events that come from the uh, when a rules engine where an offense actually fires. And here we have the Windows system with a command line open, uh, where we're going to be executing that uh, PowerShell uh, statement. We have Kali, and again there was a separate video to show how we set this up in, in Kali. So let's uh, go ahead and get the actual executable, the, the PowerShell in here. So I just pasted the PowerShell command that we saw before. Let me actually show it to you in detail. So this is the PowerShell, execute, bypass uh, any starting uh, script. The command is, again, new object system network client. That's the browser to download from the Kali machine, which is this one uh, the machine, uh, 124, the mylove.exe, and start it, put it in the temp directory, and start it from that temp directory. So here we have that, and we see that the uh, Metaexploit opened a session for it. So that machine is mine, has been actually compromised. Let's see what, uh, what curator I got to see out of this. So here in the log activity, we see that, uh, that uh, we say PowerShell, malicious user detected. We're going to see the rules in detail. Process launch from a temporary directory, unsigned uh, DLL, just as predicted, and con they contributed to an offense. If we go to the offenses tab, bingo, we got, you know, from the, uh, 
That's the window, the 204 is the Windows uh, machine. So we go here and we see the sequence of uh, actions, as I always like to do. I like to look at the rules that fire. Let's see these rules into a little uh, more detail. Uh, I like to actually, instead of showing it in here, I prefer to show it here from the summary. Notice the things that we are doing. This is when an uh, executable or DLL is run from a temp, uh, temp directory, that's the name of the rule, and when the event uh, came from the uh, Windows security event logs that are enhanced by Sysmon, as we explained in the whiteboard, and uh, image loaded is uh, the terminology in Sysmon for a process uh, being launched or created, uh, and the the process created matches any of the following expression. Notice that this is uh, case insensitive users have data from any one of these stem directories, uh, and and you can add more if you want to in your in your rule and modify it uh, to your convenience. So that's uh, one of the rules. Let's quickly take a look uh, to the next one. Process launch from a temporary directory. Actually, we can. We can see it for here as well, again from the Windows event, process create, and very similar to the, to the one that we saw before. Let's close that one. And let's see the rule on PowerShell that, uh, you know, the process is create and the process command line, meaning that, that something was executed is not NA, the NA is when no, no process what was created. But this is the interesting thing, and we'll see this play in, 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 in a minute. We are actually replacing all the carrots, and this is a escape uh, character that has been put to help you deal with, you know, spaces and things like that. But the bad guys use these to avoid signatures. So if you are looking for something specific, uh, the, the bad guys will insert a few carrots in here that will not do nothing but to avoid a detection based on a on a signature. And here we are looking for download, okay? And we notice that we are lo uh, looking at, at different uh, 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 nomenclatures of it, you know? New object system, this is very nice uh, and, and pretty complete rule that, that Mutas actually created. So we're looking for the, for the actual uh, uh, download and the actual uh, execution of the Of the of the malware, and now the bad guy is, is going to try to avoid detection. So to prepare for the continuation of this uh, use case, let's actually uh, close this offense. And let's go into the log activity and look at this in real time again. And what the bad guy is going to do actually evade the the detection by a signature by inserting a couple of carrots uh, here and there and we prepare already a statement with that in here as you can see we inserted a bunch of carrots that again they are not going to change the way that the program runs uh, but it definitely is going to avoid any type of signature type of checking so let's actually prepare our environment. We curator is ready. Let's make sure that uh, in the other environments, uh, in Kali particular, that we, because we have a session already open, we want to make sure that we actually exit that and launch the attack. Now let's paste that modified PowerShell as the one that you saw before with, with a bunch of carrots inserted. And uh, is that the one? Let me see. Yeah, here you see, you know, all those carrots and uppercase and lowercase in order to avoid uh, the actual uh, detection. And when we hit enter, bingo, we got a session established. Let's see 
what curator, if curator was able to detect this one. And sure enough, we got an offense firing in here. And again, the reason is because in the actual rule that fire, we clean those carrots. Remember that replace that we showed you before? That does the trick and avoids uh, that, that type of detection. And then we also make the search uh, case insensitive as well. So, so one of the things that the bad guys uh, do is that they don't like this thing, you know, that, that the, my love is running there. They want to blend themselves into Windows uh, normal stuff to make sure that they can avoid uh, detection. So what the guy is actually going to do is it's gonna uh, actually look for uh, any other uh, windows or normal events. So if we do ps grep and look for explorer, for example, we get that the process ID is one four six zero. Very good. So all he needs to do is actually migrate to 1460. And if the migration is successful, it should be. Yeah, notice that the MyLob disappear, and what we have is an explorer. So this looks very innocuous. So ah, I hide myself. Nobody's going to be able to see what I'm doing. So, but that action actually contributed, it was actually chained on the same, uh, it was indexed because it's the same uh, source IP uh, on the previous offense. And we actually get this particular condition that is one of the rules that basically detects that a process was injected into a reference set that we have, let me actually show you that quickly in here, is called Windows Sensitive Process, that somebody's trying to impersonate a Windows uh, event. So let me cancel here and go into Reference Sets. And that this is part of the package that, that you install when you install that zip file. Windows Sensitive Process. And we will go here, one of them is actually explored. So if somebody has to try to impersonate any one of these, and again, you can add uh, or remove whatever is fits your, your environment. But when somebody's trying to impersonate, <laughs> migrate. Uh, so make it look like any one of these processes, the, the curator is going to detect it. 